now I think a lot of people are going to be imagining that Blacklist International is going to be the favorites into this. However, I think Bedell does actually have a significantly good chance because they have an eye for opportunity. One of the key points of this team, even when they were playing against Malvinas Gaming just now, the game was going pretty even for a long period of time before they finally broke the camel's back and eventually took over that game. Is this going to be the exact same situation against Blacklist? It's going to be harder. However, it really depends on Blacklist draft. Yeah, I feel like for the side of Adele itself, right, we've, mm -hmm. we've seen a little bit of hesitation from their side. Right? Exactly. Whenever they try to go for plays, they don't entirely commit into those plays until they're like, oh yeah, sure, we can win this fight. You know, there's still a little bit of doubt in their minds right here for the shot calling. Very different from the side of Blacklist International, where they're, again, very organized. They know exactly what to do. They trust fully in their captain, Venus, here, as we can see from from the player cam, but yeah, that's gonna be the style, stylistic matchup yeah. here. Battel with their quite like kind of uh, unpredictable play style because of the mm. just you know the, it just rough. It just feels really rough when yeah, I see Battel games. That's like they brute force their way in all throughout the fights. We're gonna be starting draft soon. What I do want to say about Battel is that it's true that they have so much hesitations in solo plays, mm. but when it comes to team fight, I think that's where yes. they excel. Alien on the front lines, even really hiding on the back lines and Obviously, the Kufra play from before, that the way they layer their stunts through the through the Farsa as well as through the Yuzhong, I think that's perfectly executed. So one thing that we may expect from Bidel is that they can win fights as long as they are in it together. As long as it's, it's a team fight that they set up, that they dictate, if they're on the uh, on the pedal, I would say in this particular game, maybe they can get a chance against Blacklist International. But until then, Blacklist International with their macro gameplay as well as their uh, usage of the map might be the ones that are favored in this matchup. Yeah, on the note of this team having just great team fight synergy. Fun Hello, fact, Bedell was founded about two years ago banning. and three of their players, Farway, Alien, and Asmo, have been on the team Your since team they were founded. Banning. So if you're talking about that team fight synergy, they've had this bond for about two years, right? So again, that is where they shine most. And now we're going to get straight into the draft with the Matilda and the Estes being banned already from the side of Bedell, targeting the MVP yeah. of match number one. Yep, the Haka Venus strat from. <laughs> well, that's easy enough for the piece. I'll ban all the all my Venus heroes, and I can't blame them for doing that. I do understand the Matilda by though, as it was so instrumental in the first game. That does give us a little bit of an idea, though, right? It's not just because Matilda is just so good in every single one of these situations. It's more so because Farsa, Yi, both huge artillery mages, stands really far away, can do yeah. so much, and scales especially well into these drafting phases. The meta Your seems team like is they banning. chose to see the, the next upcoming follow-up ban. This is going to give us a little bit of a vibe. I'm assuming that it could potentially be a, maybe an assassin ban, but considering what Blacklist is doing, Hayabusa, Ling, it wouldn't make it would make sense if they get rid of Lancelot, get the trio out of here. Yeah, just taking the assassins out of the game completely again. That's what we mentioned earlier. Blacklist International, they want to play grouped up as a team. They don't want to get picked off. And these heroes, they are especially good at doing that, exactly that. So let's see for the side of Blacklist International. Will they go for the Lancelot ban or perhaps they might just go for something else? Something like the Popo and Koopa. They've had some troubles against the Popo and Koopa before. Taking it out of the way right here against yeah. Bedell is going to be nice, but now Bedell with the response. Now that we've seen all the bands, will they still go for the yeast and shit? The trend has been negative, but do they <laughs> want to break the code? Ah. You can see what I did there? Yeah, I see what you did. But unfortunately, I don't think that yeast and shit is such a, is, is the good choice here. Eve yeah. is available. Mm. They also put some emphasis on the Aemon, so maybe they can also go for that one. And as well as the Paquitos. So many good other, other good heroes that don't have like the straight up direct counter. So maybe that's a priority. One footnote I want to say here is that maybe teams are really prepare against Bedell because both Malvinas as well as Blacklist, they ban Popo and Koopa against uh, Bedell. Like Leo said, Asmo, Popo and Koopa, that's the signature hero that he's going to be leaning more towards too, but so far, we're going back to the what we're used to. We're seeing the Paquito, even yes. though there has been a little bit of his nerfs here and there. He's not going to be able to snowball out of control like we usually see him, but he does overall stay dominant in his own EXP lane. For all we know, it could be a flex pick into the jungle, but we'll have to wait and see. But I do want to talk about these two newer heroes that have joined in this entire roster. It's going to be Florin as well as the Amon, both of which we haven't seen yet today, yeah. but one ban on Amon. 
I want to see Florian on Blackness International though. Always, you know that my all my Venus really excels yeah. in these support heroes, their sustain heroes. So far, uh, only picked, uh, only not even picked or banned. There's the Rafaela and the Eve. All right, there you go. The Eve and the Rafaela picked up for the side of Blacklist International. So far, again, Rafaela hasn't had a good tournament so far. Still sitting at a zero percent win rate, but the Eve with the hundred percent ban rate finally yeah. up and open for the side of Blacklist. Instantly though, for the side of Adele. Yeah. They might look to go and counter it with the Ute Song. Yeah. We mentioned this in the second game. It was crucial to their victory, and now it is left open. One of the big, good counters towards the Zeev. They might just go for the Farsa and that Ute Song yeah. to put the cherry on top, going the, against that Yeev. Those two heroes are exactly my prediction here for me now. My, oh, it's yes. going to be the Grok instead. Yeah, I honestly think that the Grok is going to be a better shot because at least with the Guardian's Bulwark, you can knock her out of position, and you don't have to get too close. Shivery. And more importantly, yeah. it's they already locked in Paquito. Unless they had an idea of throwing Paquito in towards that jungle roll, I don't think Yuzong was going to be shown this time around. But Blacklist International, the draft so far, they identified, hey, you have Paquito. If you throw Yuzong in, it's going to start messing around with the mixture. Better to take full advantage of the situation. All right, so knowing Blacklist International, since Clint is already picked up, they might go for a straight-up counter on this. So they will be picking up the O-Hip hero. Might be somewhere along the lines of uh, Brody or Kimi, actually. They used that before. Kimi and Rafaela, that might be uh, a surprise to uh, most teams, but it will not be in this, in this case. Beatrix is also a hero that Blacklist International likes. And it's... Your team is Honestly, it went through our heads. The Aldous was left open by Bedell. Is this a mistake? Again, Blacklist International they can choose to flex this. It can be played by Wise, but also, you know, Oheb can use it in the goal lane as well. We Pretty haven't sure. seen a lot of that, but it yeah. is a possibility. So taking that all this out of the way, getting that physical damage that they need here in their composition, it's going to be huge. Signature hero for Wise. I mentioned I in my previous brain. cast, Your if you give this banning. man all this, you will lose. But Roger <laughs> will come through here by Blacklist, taking it away from Bedell. They've seen it before. They don't want to go against far away Roger. I think it's really good here. I think right now Blacklist have set themselves up a victory with the style Your of draft that they have because banning. it doesn't necessarily have to go on wise. They can throw it in towards the gold lane if they want to and have Vitas make sure that he covers that side of the map, especially since you only have Grok. And honestly, Aldous doesn't mind the way being pushed into him. He yes. likes it in a matter of fact. So we need to keep in mind that BDL, they need a form of aggression. They need a way to kind of steal away jungle camps and to slow down Aldous because if the game drags on too long, it's pretty much game over for their hard marksman carries. Yeah, I completely agree with that, man. Blacklist International, I'm, I'm quite insane. speechless. Your like, team I is can't banning. believe we forgot about Aldis, or at least I forgot about Aldis. It was picked up instantly now. The Nathan Band coming in from Coach Bon yep. Chan, just limiting the heroes for Batel, taking Your it away. But Batel, with the Phobius Band coming in, maybe this is trying, is setting up for a pick that they want to get in the second phase. Yeah. Maybe perhaps a Lancelot pickup for themselves here. But I don't really like the Fovius band as of right now. We'll see what they have planned right now. Blacklist International with the first pick in the second phase. What will they take out of the board right now? They have the Eldest, they have the Eve, they have the Raphaela. What they don't have right now is a gold laner and an XP laner. There you go. It is going to be the Barrett's flex pick again. Still flex pick because this could be a jungle. Uh, Barrett's and you can also put the Aldous in the gold lane. So I, I love the, the mysteriousness that Blacklist International wants to have. What we know of is What's that the okay. Whoa! Okay. Never mind. It completely Never mind. just scratch the Fovius band being bad. It's going to be the debut of Fanny here at the M3 World Championships. You know, I saw in the chat, everyone, every Bedell fan was like, Paranoid, I want to see you on this Fanny. And there you have it, boys. Your wish has been granted here in the M3 World Championships. That is a ballsy pick, and I love it. No, I love it as well. The Fovius was really a big question mark here. Were they looking for something particular that could dash around? Selena made a little bit of sense. But Kido, most of the time, would that even matter? But Fanny, and now it, the, the dots makes connect. It. Exactly. Now, Blacklist, knowing them, I think they'll put the Barrett's into the x play now since it's a counter to the Paquito now that the Paquito is revealed. Me can say we're, we're going to see the jump right now no or the Gold Dane Matrix no. as we predicted earlier on. It still is going to come through. Um, as funky as this Fanny is from Bedell, I think the problem is there's a big, uh, you know, anti... Uh, there's a big lockdown on the Toda's Welcome on this Barrett's that will be used by Blacklist International. However, the Fanny is... 
a hero that most teams against Blacklist International use to counter the Ube strategy. Basically, the, their idea is, since the enemies are grouping up anyway, since Blacklist International wants to group up, Fanny might have a limited, you know, rate, uh, amount of cables to push out energy, to be exact, but... Nobody has ever been successful with a funding panning against the... the that's, that's Blacklist, man. They're testing exactly. people. They're saying, break the code. Do it. I dare you. And I love the fact that Bedell is willing to show up that fan favorite here because the main problem right now in the meta, Five it's all about tempo here. And Fanny is the one thing that can push and pull that tempo with the steel cables. We'll see how they perform. Miracle, please take it away. Will Fanny break the code? We'll see in the Land of Dawn right now as Bedell and Blacklist takes it to game number three. Let's see what happens here. Paranoid, obviously, on the Fanny pick. We'll start on the purple buff. That will give a little bit more, you know, prediction. Easy routes for the side of Blacklist International to play with. But in the early game, what Blacklist needs to do is maybe play it a little bit safer. Again, with that Fanny, extremely, extremely good here in the early game. Controlling the tempo, like Gideon says. And there you go. Already pushing in. Alien jumps in very aggressively. Is going to get chunked. But Paranoid joins in all the way to the backside. Still able to dash around. Right now, Blacklist just doesn't want to look for any fights, but maybe I'm wrong here because it looks like Edward has rotated. The little wanderer is going to be contested far away, joins back in and goes back out. Osmo forced to flicker away as the little wanderer will be collected by Y, but maybe not for long here as again another engage happens. They are going to retreat in the end. Oh, look at this. Um, Bedell, even in the previous game, we saw how they were uh, using Alien from the X plane and then transitioning to the mid lane. What they do is to fast clear this X plane, um, really deploy Alien right then and there to contest the jungle of Blacklist International. Unfortunately, Blacklist International was prepared for this. This is Rafaela to help out Weiss. And Weiss, as much as there's a little bit of delay when it comes to his jungling, now he's recovered. And now it's all even for Blacklist. Hell, it's even like Blacklist International leading by a little bit in the early stages of the game. Yeah, I feel like Bazell overcommitted a little bit to that team fight. You know, Fanny, uh, again, they want to look for the tempo, but already some very, uh, quote-unquote, weird movements here. They're trying to target that side lane. They're trying to get the most out of that goal, but not getting that orange buff will mean that Blacklist International Wise will be able to scale quite well. Uh, the turtle is going to spawn right here, presented to you by TikTok Live. Osmo trying to clear up the way, trying to set up for the turtle fight. And Blacklist, so far, they've been able to withstand this pressure very, very well. Weiss actually finds this orange yeah. buff is not taken by Bedell. And this is, this is massive. Look at this. Blacklist International will have a massive lead when it comes to the jungler. Oh. Not only that, they are using this fanny. Oh my goodness, burst look at the burst blood. though. Yeah, Alien goes in for the kill and will be able to pick it up onto Venus. And that's going to be the Razor first blood. Come just huge, huge first blood for the side of Adele. That's exactly what they need. They've been losing out on these trades. They've been giving Wise a lot of room to farm, and that is exactly what they need to come back in this game. Now, the real idea what you want to do against the... Red oh, okay. Hero has been what is Paranoid? going on? Paranoid going, going ham on? here. Yeah, you know, the movements are so fast, the camera isn't able to catch it, but now it is going to be the turtle Red taken away by the turtle. alien. What is happening, Bedell? I, I don't know who's the uh, core anymore for the Dell. Oh, but wait a minute. It's going to be Venus picked up for another time. Not just yet, though. Far away once again. Hesitates just a little bit, giving Venus some room. But Wise now trying to track down Paranoid. Will cancel in the last second, and that's going to be an amazing Abyssal Arrow to stop Wise in his tracks. But the Little Wanderer once again collected. Wise is still scaling like a monster. Paranoid, though, doing a very aggressive movement here. Already moving up into the lane of that top side um, XP lane. I can explain this kind of movements going on from Paranoid. The choices are... It's not like he's playing like as a jungler. He's playing like, like a mid lane roamer at yeah, this yeah, yeah. point. He's given the turtle buff to the XP laner. He actually took some of the EXP from the XP laner as well. And it's also not prioritizing the jungle. This is weird, but you know, if it works, it works. Bedell is actually trimming the deficit out of only 300 gold at this point. Wait a minute, Bedell, they might have set up for a really good trade here. Haji gets picked up, forced to flicker away right there. Very good wall to ensure that flicker will be used. But in the mid lane, we see a skirmish going on, a duel happening between Paranoid and Wise. It will be Wise just backing away, going for the minions and stacking it up. So far, in the fourth minute of the game, it's going to be actually a Deathless Welcome used up for Edward. Trying to go for a duel right now. Alien and Edward in the 1v1. Has a turtle buff, so has a little bit more sustain, but in the end, Barracks, a true counter towards that Piquito. Still even a runaway for now as Asmo gets beaten up quite, quite well in the mid lane. Let's see that. Byron is already setting up for this one. 
It's so weird to see like junglers take away so many lane minions in the first five minutes of the game. Do take note that if you have the retribution, your rewards from gold uh, uh, from minions, lane minions for the first five minutes of the game definitely reduced. But how about that? Red team hero has yeah, been again, slain. he's just leaving his orange buff for wise to take, but it turns out it might Blue be a bait right here. Yunchi gets slain. killed in the top in the bottom side right now. Osmo goes in for some damage onto Wise. We'll be able to zone him away from the orange buff. But Blacklist International, again, they're trying to get this turret down. They are able to siege it a little bit, but in the end, it is still Bedell with the kill lead right now as of the fifth minute of the game, Gideon. Honestly, the way that I'm looking at it, Bedell is playing a very interesting strategy, but hold your horses. Oh, he might be in some trouble here. Yeah, he's going to be paranoid Three. picking up a killing spree Red right there, and this is what you want to do with that fanny, but I'm just surprised that Blacklist International, they haven't been able to respond to this aggression so far. They are still leading in gold, however, so if they are able to just scale up to the destroyed. point where they get their power spike, it is going to be good. Well, so far, the way that I look at it, Fanny is trying to control as much pressure on that top side, which is generally where Blacklist is supposed to be strong, is enforcing them into Clint's side. However, every single time they try to attack Clint, he doesn't need to be there. He can start farming the rest exactly. of the jungle. He's maximizing his gold everywhere he can, knowing that he won't scale for late. Oh my goodness, man. Bedell, their answer to the code of the Blacklist International is to actually kind of be chaotic. This is like the farthest spectrum of chaotic that I have seen in competitive matches. And Bedell, the they're not getting the they're not getting the turtles, but at least they're getting so much gold in this map. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to be far away going in again with the missile. Uh, arrow is going to be able to connect. As Haji pops in the real world manipulation. Why is it a 1v1 against Paranoid right now with the help of Alien? Goes in for the knockout strike. Able to zone him away with Yushi. Going in. Oh, and that's him the kill. Rise picks up off the board. Oh, Heaven's next on the chopping block. He's going to be the missile arrow. Not connecting just yet. Blacklist are forced to go back. And the gold lead is slowly but surely moving to the side of Bazel with the kill pressure that they have here in the early game. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, well, there you go. It's going to be another death as well. Come another fight engaged on by Edward. A lot of damage coming in with the follow-up as Oheb trying to chase him down. Asmo still able to run away, but Oheb oh. comes in for the triple kill with that flicker. Paranoid doesn't want to leave it at that, though. He goes in for 1v3 play. Oh a mistake as he gets yeah. shut down, and the Maniac has been picked up by Oheb. What a disaster for Bedell as they went one by one against Blacklist International. So one. Blacklist International has truly punished them for it. And Oheb gets a four kill. A maniac. I mean, you can't give so much of an early launch pad for this Beatrix. This is a golden Beatrix that really wants the, those items. Now with the Demon Hunter sorted up after four kills, he's going to be able to take out the turret. And in a snap, Blacklist International leading by 3,000. All of the things that Videl was doing, I uh, was working for in the early stages of the game just going out of up from their hands, slipping through their hands in just a snap because of bad decisions when it comes to team fights. Absolutely, man. Well, look at this. Paranoid goes in for wise, but damage comes in and the death is welcome. We'll be able to connect onto Osmo. Gets picked up. It's going to be Alien next to the chopping block. Gets a knockout strike. Able to defend and run away for now, but not for how long. The damage comes in. The follow-up is there and that's going to be Osmo and Alien picked up. A two for zero right now for the side of Blacklist International. Pushing themselves to a 4,000 gold lead with the third turtle spawning in that bottom side. I can't believe that Blacklist, that uh, Bedell will just really crumble in this matter of seconds for Blacklist International. We're talking about how systematic Blacklist International is, and we've seen that in blue action. The control of the map is there. This is like the third turtle that they they are able to get for the early stages of the game. It's not looking good for Blacklist International, but just in a few minutes of the game, I mean, just a few mistakes from Bedell now it makes it so unplayable for the Fanny and. I'm gonna have to say, oh my Venus really reserves this holy baptism just for paranoid in team fights. That's a great decision. Now there are two problems for Bedell. First is a uh, Haji and his damage output, and next is Oheb with his long range artillery as well. We're not even counting the Aldus yet, man. Yeah, you can see the frustration in the face of Paranoid just now as he was just chunked to half HP by the Sniper. Oheb trying to clear the waves right now, able to get the Siege done with the Sniper. It is going to be the turret falling down. And for trying to go for engage, but in the end, he's just going to zone away the members of Bedell. Blacklist still on that engage, still on that, you know, hard, basically some, some Siege here coming in from the side of Blacklist International. But Bedell, they just have no response. They're just going to clear the waves. That's it. That's all that they can do. Blacklist, once again, invading the enemy. 
jungle, and there's not much Videl can do right now. Gonna make it a difficult again. The jungle choke that Blacklist International did in game number one. They do win it versus Videl this time. And goodbye to your purple buff, Fanny. Goodbye to your purple buff indeed, man. Blacklist International going in for the purple buff. It's gonna be paranoid jumping out to four members, baiting a lot of abilities out though. This might be the turnaround for the side of Adele, but no, no, no. Blacklist, they play it just so calmly. They know exactly what to do, and they bait out abilities, take away the purple buff. No response. They're gonna end up taking the inhibitor. No, the tier two turret in the mid lane as well. Blue team turret. Has been you know what they say about seven minutes, to eight minutes. It's Ube time for Blacklist International. They're gonna be grouping up. Maybe the only split pusher will be Wise, and that's not even counted because of the chase fate. He can show in team fights for sure. The Barracks will be so beefy in the front lines, going for that attack emblem as well. Both OHEV and Hachu just stand back, and oh my Jesus, will always destroyed. just follow where OHEV is. And babysit that gold laner. Make sure that he'll not be gunned upon by the Fanny, and it's gonna be systematic and methodical from this point on. Absolutely. Again, Edward is being such a nuisance here in the jungle, opening up the map at far away. That's an abyssal arrow connects to Alien, going for engage, but that's welcome. We'll be able to connect onto Alien. He's gonna go in for the flicker. Holy Battle connects as well. The combo is just there, and that is another kill picked up by Oheb to set up the Lord in the 10th minute here. Gonna be a uh, very easy Lord tick. They also spotted out where Paranoid is with the chase bait. And look at Edward just uh, tanking up. Not even care. Not, not even careful at this point. Yeah, but look at that. Real world manipulation will be able to catch Osmo out of the his Ohev almost gets a solo Ooh. kill flickers in for the godlike, and he's gonna go for more. to get away with the second ability but man blacklist from a very very bad start they've overcome that adversity and now they are in a 7,000 gold lead this is huge honestly for blacklist this is huge if they can get a steal here to slow down the game i don't think it's going to matter too much especially since blacklist is so far ahead of the game but now we can talk to wise and things might turn around yeah things might turn around here wise able to dodge everything though what was that it's gonna be paranoid oh, taking out the lord it's gonna be the lord still coming in but Dell still able to withstand this fight oh going in for osmo right now as he tries to run away on the Back of it all, though, it's gonna be wife jumping oh, in. Yes. Oh, the abyssal yes. arrow connects, and far away gets the pick off a one for zero as the Lord has been picked up by the Turkish team. This is this the turning point for Bedell? Not yet, but that is definitely a big win for Bedell. The chain of events is just way too perfect. They were able to fend off Blacklist International, get Red the Lord for themselves, get destroyed. a push even, and to top it all off, that abyssal R arrow to stun twice under the turret. That's perfect. You gotta see this one more time, guys. Honestly, I didn't expect them to actually pull this one off, but Blacklist punished them extremely well. Yunshi taking a full brunt Ooh. of that damage, thinking that he was gonna die. Nope, turn it around. Even though Blacklist did lose Killing a good three. number what? of people, what? this Red Lord push is about destroyed. to turn it around. Look at this, the turnaround happens and the Lord will be marching down the top side. Only one lane pushing though. Will it be enough? Ultimates being used. Oheb will be able to clear off the minion wave, but the Abyssal Arrow will not be able to connect. Oheb now dashes forward. Real world Legendary. inflation and the damage will be enough to take him down. It is going to be Bedell on the back foot as Wise joins in the team fight. Going in for Yunchi, still able to kite away for now. Alien jumps in for the peel, but will it be enough? No is the answer. The shutdown picked up as Blacklist just runs wild on Bedell. Osmo goes in for the peel once again as Alien gets away. Ohem is ready. Will he be able to snipe? He goes in and almost gets the pick off, but clean movement from Alien to get out of that situation. Though Bedell has been able to equalize in turrets. I, I am lost for words. However, that's Bedell really disrespecting the defense from Blacklist International. Beatrix is one of the yeah. um, SSSSSS here when it comes to defense. <laughs> like, you have so much uh, wave clear, so much high ground defense as well. You have, uh, you have your, your rocket launcher, you have your machine gun. I honestly, so much defense in OHEP. No, you're absolutely right there. Disrespecting, and more importantly, disrespecting the real-world manipulation, That's thinking that it true. wasn't going to That's lock them true. into place. No, I totally get you, Wolf, but right now, Bedell has a very limited win condition. It's not going to be easy as long as Blacklist International steals away this purple buff from Paranoid. That's right. I agree.
Yep. And that's what it really is their focus now. Absolutely. Abyssal Arrow was able to connect onto Edward, but look at the backside. It's going to be paranoid doing some damage all the way there. Will be able to take some attention from the team. And that's actually Bedell winning in the trade. The Holy Healing comes in for the additional sustain, but Blacklist has just been pushing that bottom side now. With Wise picking it up, it is going to be not just yet, actually. The minion was not cleared up, so bottom side will still survive for now. Blacklist is trying to play the cross map with that Aldus right now. We can see the, the, the siege from Blacklist International is going to be scary. The Foreman group up and then of course the Aldus is going to be there. E pops up the ultimate. Yeah, knockout strike being used. It's going to be the Death Wish Welcome connected onto Alien. He's going to go and munch him down. The wall has been placed and that's going to be Alien taken down out of the fight instantly right here. Still able to get away with a flicker though, somehow. And that is another 0 for 0 trade. Blacklist weren't able to get any objectives or kills on the board for that one. And Fidel are still staying in this game in a 15 minute mark. A win though, Paranoid goes in very aggressively onto the purple, but he goes oh. for that retribution and he actually gets it away from Blacklist. So that's a pretty good play, Blue but now it is going to be destroyed. another siege happening. Both of the teams just keep on going at it, man. Yeah, the, the macro game, look at the Blacklist International mm -hmm. slowly like moving towards. I mean, they're catching the attention of Bedell, and the real target was for Weiss to get a split push up, and they were able to get a turret up there. And uh, yeah, I think the Blacklist International. Taking this in the back of game. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna be paranoid jumping in, trying to deal some damage as far away, and the rest of the team goes and chunks Edward really low. Oh, head picks up a kill. It's him because it's legendary right there. As far away will be next on the chopping block. Blacklist International, they found the way to end the game. The Lord has spawned, presented to you by TikTok Live, but will it matter? Patel, 3 v 5 right now in the siege against super long range targets. Oh, head on a sniper. Haji with that real world manipulation that is gonna be up just in a few seconds. It's gonna be paranoid jumping in all the way to the backside, still dealing a lot of damage on the Haji and will be able to force him to back away for now. But Wise joins Ooh. in the fight in one yeah. shot. Osmo's next and that's it. Double kill picks up for the gold laner and that's going to be paranoid in the 1v5. Tries to run away but he gets taken down. Haji picks up the kill and the base is going to be for the Blacklist International team. GG. Well played. I don't know Wolf, as you mentioned, you were a loss for words. That was some very, very dirty Dirty <laughs> play coming in for Blacklist International. The micro definitely yeah. was on point. The adaptation definitely made the significant difference. I think Blacklist International just showcased how good they are at the micro.